for many, many years, we don't have uh, uh, new drugs for dystonia. Uh, we do have very good treatment for DOPA-responsive dystonia, for instance, levodopa, and this is known for, for some decades now. But uh, the pharmacological treatment for dystonia is basically uh, uh, is based on anticholinergic uh, drugs, and most patients uh, they don't have a complete response to these drugs. They, we, we are not able to reestablish function. Botulinum toxin is also a very good option, but for some, some types of focal dystonia, particularly some patients do respond very well, such as patients with blepharospasm or other types of focal dystonias. But uh, for many patients that have generalized dystonia, and, and we still don't have... Uh, a very good pharmacological treatments for these patients. Some of them respond to deep brain stimulation, but it's not uh, for everyone. Um, and, and even for those who respond to this kind of therapy, sometimes the response is, is partial and it's, they are not able to have their function completely reestablished. So uh, that's why we need new treatments. Uh, uh, there are several unmet needs in this study. That's why we need new treatments in this area. And because the genetic basis is so complex, uh, I don't think we're going to have a single drug fits it all. I think we will have to go and target many different uh, pathways and develop different drugs in order to be able to uh, treat uh, the majority of the patients.